A three-year-old girl at the center of an Amber Alert found safe more than 200 miles away from home. We thank God that she's home. Uh, I'm sure her father's relieved. Uh, he'll be more relieved when we can get her back from Tallahassee, back to uh, Apopka. Tonight, four suspects facing charges after she was abducted this morning. This is a new photo just in from FDLE of the moment. Madeline Mejia was found safe. Agents and Florida Highway Patrol troopers were able to stop the car she was in on I-10 in Tallahassee. This is News 6 at 6. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Many of us got the Amber Alerts on our phones when the three-year-old girl was first reported missing this morning. Tonight, she is doing fine. News 6's Nadine Yanis joins us with the latest. As he was leaving, this man in Spanish told us his friend can't stop crying. After his friend witnessed his own daughter get abducted, Apopka police say putting out an Amber Alert for three-year-old Madeline Mejia this morning. He forgot his keys. He went back into the house to get his keys. He heard his daughter scream. At that time, he came back outside of the house and saw his daughter being placed into a black Honda. The father followed, according to Apopka police, losing the car about an hour away where the turnpike meets I-75. Eventually, the little girl was found more than 200 miles away on I-10 near Tallahassee. This picture just tweeted out by FDLE. We were in the right place at the right time. Florida Highway Patrol troopers staged along the interstate, finding the car with three men and one woman inside. And little Madeline uninjured, but scared, they say. When the troopers were able to get her out of the car, uh, two of them have children themselves. They were able to get them back and comfort her as much as possible, get her away from everybody. As for the suspects, troopers arrested them on kidnapping charges. The focus not only on them, but for detectives who left with a doll and a blanket in hand, is to bring Madeline home. We thank God that she's home. Uh, I'm sure her father's relieved. Uh, he'll be more relieved when we can get her back from Tallahassee, back to uh, Apopka. And when you guys saw me in the last hour, you saw an Apopka police car outside of the house. That police car is gone because the father just walked out to be reunited with Madeline Mejia. He was speaking in Spanish. I asked him quick if he could say anything in English, and he just said, Thank you, thank you, that he is relieved tonight. And I know so many of us felt that across the state uh, once that Amber Alert was canceled. We will bring you the latest from the father. And, of course, our new sixes, Lawrence Cervantes, is here, hopefully, to catch that reunion tonight. Until then, we're live in Apopka. I'm Nadine Giannis, getting results, News 6.